V Squad Music. Follow me on all social media platforms at V Squad Music. Please make sure if you're looking at this, go ahead and hit like, comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It means the most to me. Like I said, I plan to give you all these weekly posts um, as the engagement grows, the demand grows. If something hits me, something comes to mind, we'll probably get into a daily situation. But like I said, I wanted to start it, start this because I know if I never do it um, and I try to organize it and I try to come up with a strategic timeline, I'll never get around to this just because there's so many things that's always on my mind, stuff that always comes to me. So let me go ahead and continue the last story, just picking up on the part two um, of first time reactions. Uh, the first time you get that face, which is the best compliment you can ever get as an artist, as a producer, when somebody makes that face, you know, like what you did, you, you, that's, that's when you really know what you created, something you created caused somebody to feel something, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, the next time this will happen for me, uh, is I'm, I'm a freshman at Gremlin State University. We out on the yard. Um, and I, I'm a fast forward trying to get straight to the point. So most of this stuff and kind of really fast forward the timeline and not give y'all like a year by year, month by year, month, month by month type of thing. I'm really trying to keep these stories uh, quick and straight to the point. Um, so it's my first year at Grandma State University. Uh, meet my roommates, a whole bit different experience, meeting different people from different areas. Um, the first thing in my mind, I'm thinking like, yo, the first chance I get to be able to rap and see if I get a reaction from people from other areas, I'm jumping on it, man. I really want to know what's up. Cause it's kind of like a comedian. Like if you perform in your hometown, you know, you know, you may have that local respect, you know, people catching the local jokes, but when you go out of town and perform as a comedian or as an artist, this is your first real chance to see how other people from other areas are engaging with the content, you know, the material you're creating. So my roommate, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to my man, B Turner, Brandon Turner. Uh, he was from Chi town My homeboy, Joel Davis, uh, he's from Chi town uh, we ended up meeting some dudes from Jersey. I forget their name. Like at Gremlin, man, like we, we literally called each other by the city. You know what I'm saying? So I remember, uh, meeting a dude named Monroe. I remember big Henry, uh, Jersey, uh, and his, and his homie. Uh, we, we all end up kind of in the same circle at some point. You know, this is my friend, this is my freshman year. Some of them is their sophomore year, uh, et cetera. So, uh, we end up on the yard. I was housed at uh, Martha Adams. Monroe was actually housed in uh, Pinchback. Uh, and I think a couple of other ones uh, from Jersey were, were in Pinchback. Uh, so we go out in the yard, man. We kind of shooting the breeze, kind of all getting to know each other and stuff like that. And some kind of way, man, I don't know how it happens, but a cypher breaks out on, on the yard. Um, and it started out like a real small circle, man. We talking three, three dudes max, you know, at, at, at first. Then, then we roll up on it. Now it's about eight dudes, 10 dudes. I hop in there, you know what I'm saying? My roommate, Brandon Turner, I had, I'd already repped to Chi-Town at this point, you know what I'm saying? So he's he's expecting nothing less from me. He's expecting me to jump in there, you know what I'm saying? So, which I do, um, light it up, you know, people are responding. But other people in the cypher, man, Monroe, <laughs> uh, other people are, 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 are giving it too. So it gets to a point where me and Monroe are going, going back and forth. And Monroe, man, the number one thing I remember about him is he reminded me so much of Bun B, man. Like, Monroe, if you see this video, bro, and you remember me, please comment. You know, if anybody's in contact with him, bro, please comment. And and, and I hope he remembers this vividly. Uh, but I remember him saying something in his freestyles, like something like, uh, we we uh, we find the broad, get the broad, and then take him to pinch back. Uh, and everybody just reaction, reacting, going crazy or something like that. So I'm doing my freestyle thing. I'm kicking some premeditated verses and I'm kicking some freestyle verses. Uh, at this time, I have a little bit of Christian raps mixed in, but I also have some secular raps, you know, um, just enough to kind of keep me afloat in a cypher, no matter which way it goes. You know, I had, I had battle rap bars in case somebody came at me with the battle stuff, some premeditated rebuttals. You know, I, I'm prepared for spending about anything. If somebody got on some life tip, you know what I'm saying? And they, they kick in some life bars. I got them life heartfelt bars. I, mean, I, I remember one of the flows I had at that time was, uh, the line that got the reaction was, um, the line was something uh, like, uh, 
praying to God, asking what will the struggle be over? Because we were so broke. I had to eat the chip on my shoulder. This was my motive to want to get the best when I'm older. Can you try to photograph this? A little black kid playing with kids at recess that will grow up to be crackheads. Grew up with street tactics plus mommy and dad love. We learned quick the stuff we probably wanted probably cost much. Used to run the playground, trip and scuff my shoes up. Used to rock the Lacoste, the green gator on the tee, only because it was cheap. Uh, little be known to me. I get older, them shirts, them shirts is like 75 a T. Um, just bars, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so one of the verses that I had that's premeditated, man, I have no idea what the last ending line was. And on the spot, I forget this line. So at this point, like I said, I'm getting reactions. Everybody's getting reactions. You know, the guys who really can't rap, those kind of BSing around and started the whole cypher, they kind of fade to the back at this point. You know what I'm saying? And only the real spitters is in, is in the middle. And if you know anything about the yard, man, like when a, when a, when a huddle is kind of gathered up, you know, people start to come and it, it, it gets popping quick, like real quick. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, so we right there in the, in the center, you know what I'm saying? People gather around us, we spitting and, uh, I'm like, yo, this is like, we at least 75 deep, at least I, I can't even see what's above and beyond that. You got people standing on top of the the little uh, pods that's like right around in the area. You know, I, I I just feel that like it's hot. We're we're centered around people centered around us at this point. You can't mess up right now. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I have a premeditated verse. I'm kicking the verse. And uh, man, some kind of way I forget the line. And I'm like, yo, you got to come up with something. And so the the, the ending word round was something like uh, uh, that I would never... Uh, the bars was clever, uh, your heart to some, 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 something. And I forget, just like I just did right now. And I was like, <laughs> Barney Rubble. And everybody dies laughing, laughing. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about Barney Rubble from the Flintstones. Like, like, how do you get that bar off? If the bar made no sense, but the fact that I had the, I finished the rhyming scheme and what I finished the rhyming scheme with, everybody's laughing, dying. I'm getting dapped up, you know, like, yo, like that, that pretty much like kind of ended the cypher there. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody pretty much was tapped out at this point. We've been going for like 30 minutes at this point, everybody getting their bars off and everybody's kind of like not running out, you know what I'm saying? Cause if you freestyle, you can go all night, but the best of the best had already kind of like been exposed, man. And we just, just lived the night up after that. So this will be the second time that I actually got a reaction from more than just a few people. Now you got a bunch of people, you know what I'm saying, around. I'm from Houston, Texas. They started calling me H-Town. So if you're from Grandma State University, man, around that time, and you remember this story, <clears throat> and you're seeing this video, when you see it, please, man, make sure the people I named, the people I mentioned, those who that were there, please, man, comment, you know, authenticate it. You know, your boy's spitting this, this stuff straight to y'all. Just want to talk about it. Um, again, we're going to get to... Uh, we'll, we'll finally get around to uh, the, the main goal, the purpose of this. Like I said, I want people, aspiring artists, especially aspiring Christian hip hop artists or anybody who's doing it. If you have a craft, if you have a gift and you're afraid to use it, I really want to document my experiences with it. Um, just kind of share my stories, my personal experience. And hopefully you can kind of take something from this and be able to shape yourself. If you want to kind of get out there and go to an amateur night or an open mic contest, or you want to go ahead and kick your bars on the next cypher and you kind of been like, ah, should I? Definitely do it, man. It's one of the first first times that you'll ever get a chance to really see if you get a reaction to see if people are feeling it. Uh, you'll get some real feedback. You know what I'm saying? If it's dope, they like it, they'll let you know. If they don't like it, they will definitely let you know. But you know right then and there whether or not you have something that, you know, if you're working with something, um, whether or not you're just completely different or whether or not you're just, you know, what they're accustomed to. This is what we want to hear. Um, it's your main man, B-Squad. More content on the way. Please, once again, if you're watching this, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification so that you'll know when I drop a video. This is part two of reactions as an aspiring artist and knowing that you have something, you're working with something. B-Squad, out. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. On a mission. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh. On a mission. I've been through too much to have a cap on my savior. God is good, God is great, God is merciful and faithful. When I was stretched thin, I would bend but didn't break. Heavyweight, but I'm never giving more than I can take. Took it L here and there, still.